guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I have a bit of a, uh, an interesting video. I thought it would be quite funny if I went through and ranked my AFL parodies. All parodies that I've done before, actually. I think Voltamp is in there. And I'm gonna put Back Pocket Plugger in the AFL parody category. Yeah, you guys will see which one's my favorites. I'd like you guys to share your favorites down below. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna start towards the bottom. Um, for mine, cold water is probably the worst. So initially, the, the parodies, you know, the whole saga started when I made um, the free kick to Hawthorne one. And then, you know, I sort of looked back at my videos because I was just uploading every, you know, couple of weeks. And then it got a couple of, you know, a couple of thousand views. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. Like, that's, that's nuts. Um, and then, I think like a month or two later, I made another parody. And I got four or five hundred in like a couple of days, which I'd never done before. So then I ended up making like four or five parodies in the space of a couple of weeks. The Cold Water parody was like the third or fourth in like a month and a half. And um, yeah, I sort of ran out of things to write about. So that's why that's at the bottom. I reckon also towards the bottom for mine, the Trade Week <laughs> Closer one. Uh, I think that's the first time I've ever rapped on a song. So that's my first rap song. But yeah, all, all these early parodies are filmed on my webcam, on my laptop. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I didn't have a camera at the time, I, so I went to Dick Smith and got a $99 webcam. So whenever I changed scenes, yeah, I'd be setting up my laptop and a webcam to film, which is pretty crazy. I don't mind Drag Me Down, I think that's quite good. I think I rap in that one as well. Okay, a free kick to Hawthorne. I think middle tier. I think there's going to be a lot of middle tier ones. Yeah, I think there. Yeah, there'll be a few that just sit in the mid drift. Where else? Oh, who's going to win the flag this year? See, I reckon that was an alright one. <laughs> I thought that was. Um, I thought that was pretty good. I really wanted to try and dress like Harry Styles, as lame as that seems. So that's why I put the headband in and the. Um, the denim shirt. Yeah, I thought that one was an alright one. And look at the thumbnails. Look at the early thumbnails. The way I used to do thumbnails back in the day was I'd go onto my video editing software, put in photos as if it was a video, and then just screenshot it. <laughs> so that's why they're a bit tacky. Alright, Ball Tamper is the most viewed parody. Uh, I made it in a day. So I was working um, in Melbourne and I just started thinking of the song. And then I raced home to make it, and as I got home, I saw Triple J had put up a cricket parody, and I was like, oh no, I've been beaten to the punch. But I made it anyway. Yeah, it, it was the first video that, you know, after a day had 15,000 views, then after two days had 30, three days 45. It was the first video that I've ever had that just kept consistently ticking. And I was like, oh my god, that's nuts. <laughs> that's crazy. And it just kept going. Um, but yeah, I whipped it up in half a day, I filmed it on my phone. Um, some of these early ones I just recorded on a singing app called Schmuel. So I would just get the karaoke version off the app and just sing over it. Alright, looking at the, the final list, I reckon this is a pretty strong list. So maybe I need to drop the B's down a little bit because the, the next crop to go in I reckon are all pretty good. So I might drop down drag me down and who's gonna win the flag this year that was pretty goofy but I'll leave that one there um, all right let's get into the big stuff the one with Coco I thought was good um, football so hard I think that was one of my best videos I think that and 2018 are the best videos that I've made footy slang I like I reckon footy slang's catchy um, and, that, and that's when I started to really take my time with the, you know, the video process, and I had some transitions, and even though they look a bit corny now, I think, um, yeah, I think I rate Footy Slang. And Footy Slang is like the first one that I did that had a reoccurring um, chorus, when usually I don't even bother with like a song structure, I just write whatever I want over an instrumental, but Footy Slang actually had, yeah, a bit of a chorus put in. Hawks Owen 4, debatably, one of my favourites, I reckon. Um, a Johnny Ballion song. I'm a massive fan of Johnny Ballion. I'll put it in, yeah, the second best tier because I think there's a couple better to come. But that's one of my favourites. 
uh, the D's <laughs> Harry Styles sign of the times. I think it was quite funny. I think the line about um, uh, McLeod's daughters, I think that was a good line. But I'd probably, um, I'll put it in the middle, put it in the middle tier. Oh, I just wish I could do Sign of the Times again. I love that song. And I would love to do like a slow, ballady song again. So maybe I do, um, I do a new parody of Falling by Harry Styles because that's an absolute tune. Um, oh Boy Where Are We, second best here. BT saw that one on Twitter. So, how do you like them apples? But yeah, Oh Boy Where Are We, quite catchy. All right, now these are some of my favorites. I'll be surprised if some of these don't go in the top. All right, so the best one I reckon is probably 2018. Yeah, I think I got it right, and I think the timing was right. So this year I tried to bring the goal recreation and the parody out in grand final week as a celebration of football. Because um, usually I, you know, I'm just lazy and I get them done a month or two after footy. So I thought, you know, strike while while the iron's hot and um, chuck them out the same week. And you guys, I don't know, I don't know if that was the right timing for it, but. The 2018 AFL parody was about three weeks after the season, so it felt quite right. And um, yeah, I'm just a big fan of the tune. Big fan of Post Malone as well. Um, so I'll, yeah, I'm a fan of that one. Back pocket plugger for me, and I think it is classed as an AFL parody, or a football parody, but it's definitely, you know, I think, what's the definition of a parody? Is that just a joke song? Um, I don't think parody, means you need to use someone's instrumental. So, if it does count as an AFL parody, I'm, you know, I'm sure you guys will let me know the definition, then um, I love it. I love it so much. It's just so dumb, so dumb. And the way like uh, me and Rog sort of, you know, um, thought of it when I was living in here's and the, you know, me and Mikey put in the grind, Corey Cookson helped, Jack Post help, helped. I thought the video was, um, it was all right. Oh, I want to do a lot better with my future videos, but um, yeah, I love that song. And I, you know, the process of making an original song is so much fun to me. Um, I, I don't mind making parodies over uh, like actual instrumentals, but it sort of feels like when you <laughs> when you've got a coloring book and like the the stencils there. So it's like you can color it in but you're sort of within the boundaries. But when you make an AFL parody um, with your own instrumental and you're writing the music, I don't know, it feels like you've got a blank piece of paper. Is that got a bit deep? How uh, philosophical did that just get? But that's how I feel. So at this point in time, I'm loving writing my own stuff because I can get away with pretending to be a bit of a pop star, which is sort of my guilty pleasure. 2017 was probably the best one for a fair while. I reckon it was probably Probably the best one, but I think given the skew of work, I think it's probably in that second tier. But that's when I just went ham on the on the bars. A funny story about 2017, I wasn't gonna do a parody that year. I did, you know, four in 2016, a couple during the middle of 2017. On every one of my YouTube videos, it was make another parody, make another parody. I'm like, oh, this sort of sucks because, you know, it's good that there's a hunger for content, but I want to be a, a YouTuber, you know, can do more than just parody songs. And then there was a part of me that was like, yeah, but if you bring one out a month, like, you know, you'll gather some views. And then I spoke to Luke Kidgel and he had the same situation where he made um, You Don't Own Me. And that went mega, mega, mega viral, like 30 million and all over Lad Bible type viral. And he was saying that everyone was like, make another You Don't Own Me. And I think he made two and then just stopped because he's like, if I keep doing them, I'm going to be the You Don't Own Me guy. So I got to the end of 2017 and I'm like, I'm not making an end of year parody. I've, you know, I, I don't want to. And then it got to November and I just started thinking of a song, so I wrote one. Um, and yeah, I think that was like one of the better written songs. This one's my favourite parody, the Jake Stringer. I reckon that's my favourite. Um, <laughs> I just love taking like a dumb concept of like Jake Stringer being sad that BT doesn't commentate 
he's, you know, commentate about him anymore and making that a song. So I initially, before I put that one out, I was like, it's not quick, it's not punchy, there's no punchlines, but the whole context of the song is funny. I don't think people are gonna get it. But um, yeah, I think you guys seem to get around it. Uh, 2016, for me, and it was everyone's favorite for a long time, and I think it's like one of my most viewed AFL parody. It's probably just middle of the tier. Actually, that's unfair, because I think it's better than... All right, I'm gonna take down who's gonna win the flag this year and free kick to all of them. Oh, that's starting to look a little bit better. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's all right. It does the job, 2016, but um, yeah, I'm interested to see if you guys think that that song stood the test of time, because me looking back, I think it's aged. It's, it's aged all right, but um, yeah, it's just interesting to see if you guys still get around that one. And then last year's, controversially, I made a original parody because I'm sort of getting excited by the thought of writing my own music, like writing the music for it. So I thought that would be a good introduction. The reason I like writing my own music is one, you guys always say, put it on Spotify, and I can't if I've taken someone else's instrumental. Uh, but two, I love making music. Um, even though I'm not that good, I'm not trained professionally in the music industry, I just enjoy it so much. So I tried to make an original tune, original pop song, and it was a bit hit and miss, but I like it, so I'm gonna put it in B. I definitely didn't think it was my best one. I felt quite rushed in grand final week trying to get that and the AFL um, a goal recreation done, but I didn't think it was horrific. I thought it was, you know, pretty stock standard. So yeah, there's my list, my tier maker list of uh, my own AFL parodies. I'd love to get your thoughts down below. If you guys have watched the weekly vlogs, you would know that I am chipping away at some more music and it's more down the back pocket plugger type of vibe. So um, yeah, you'll be well aware when I'm bringing that out. But yeah, I'm just having so much fun doing it. It's uh, it's such a blast going up to Melbourne and, you know, chipping away at music. It's ridiculous that <laughs> I get to do it. Like, it's, um, yeah, it's so much fun. I feel very lucky that I get to chip away at a passion of mine. But anyway, guys, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone who watched this. And, uh, yeah, more content coming very soon. What is coming very soon is the season predictions. That'll be out next Thursday. So gear up for that. There's a uh, there's a couple of good there's a couple of good bold predictions this year. I can they're better than last year, which is hard to top because Cooks have jumped out of a plane. But anyway, guys, I um, yeah I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers.